Welcome to the new office. This guide is the second in a three-part series titled Introducing the New Link. Microsoft Link delivers a unified client experience across devices that's integrated with the applications people use and available anywhere with Internet access. The new Link provides expanded capabilities in four key areas. Multi-party HD video and content sharing showcase the latest advancements in online communications. Link also takes advantage of today's modern mobile and web clients for a more engaging experience. Link is a social platform that's integrated by design with Outlook, SharePoint, and other Microsoft applications. Plus, Federation with Skype allows you to connect to hundreds of millions of users worldwide. In this guide, you will follow along with Katie Jordan, a sales professional at a company called Contoso, as she explores the new features available in Link 2013. Katie is logged on to her Windows 8 tablet, which is docked to a mouse and keyboard. From the start page, she navigates to Outlook 2013 to set up a new Link meeting with her colleagues. Katie navigates to her calendar view and selects New Link Meeting from the Home ribbon. She sets up the Link Meeting as she would a typical Outlook meeting, adding the colleagues she wants to invite and entering a subject and time for the meeting. When Katie's colleagues receive the invitation, they can join the Link Meeting directly from their Outlook calendars. Let's see how Katie can join the meeting she just scheduled in Outlook. She selects her meeting audio options and then clicks OK to join the call. In Link Meeting Options, users can manage participant and content permissions. Viewing options make it easy for users to customize their view. Katie pins Robin to keep her visible in the conference window. The Video Spotlight feature allows meeting leaders to select and pin a participant as the focus for everyone in the meeting. Katie pops out the video in a separate window and expands it to full screen view. She can merge the video back into the main conversation window at any time. One touch controls make it easy for users to manage video conferencing options. The People menu shows all active participants and allows users to invite more people to the meeting. From the Share menu, Katie can present Desktop, Program, PowerPoint, Poll, Whiteboard, and OneNote content. Let's follow along as Katie presents a PowerPoint presentation to her team. Gallery View shows all participant photos and videos above the shared content. Katie clicks Pick a Layout to switch to speaker view. Speaker view shows the meeting content with the presenter's video or photo in the lower right corner. Presentation view shows only the meeting content. Link 2013 supports embedded media in PowerPoint, making it possible for users to share rich content like video in their presentations. Now, let's follow along as Katie adds a whiteboard to the conversation. Katie and her colleagues can type notes, draw, or import images to share. When Katie selects new content to share, the whiteboard will automatically close, but will remain available in the presentable content window throughout the meeting. She can save the whiteboard to her computer when the meeting is finished. Polls can be created in link meetings to quickly gather information or compile the preferences of meeting participants. Katie provides a name for the poll and then types in her question. She can include up to seven choices. As people respond to the poll, the meeting participants will see the results in real time. Poll results can also be exported as a CSV file and opened in Microsoft Excel offering Katie and her colleagues many options for presenting the data. Now, let's follow along as Katie creates a new OneNote notebook and adds it to the conversation. 
OneNote Share lets users create and share digital meeting notes within a linked meeting. She types in a name and then clicks Create Notebook. Meeting participants are automatically added to the Invite People address list. Katie types a message to the team and then clicks Share. Now that meeting participants have permissions to share notes, Katie shares the notebook with her team so they can collaborate in real time. Katie selects the active meeting. Meeting details such as date, content and participants are automatically added to the notes page. Next, let's take a look at some of the new features available in Link Web App. Even when Link is not yet installed, users can click to join a meeting directly from a calendar appointment and they'll be automatically directed to the Link Web App sign-in page. On the Link Web App sign-in page, users without an Office 365 account can join the meeting as a guest. Since Katie has an account, she selects the option for Office 365 users. The first time users join a meeting, they'll have the option to install the Link Web App plugin which provides a richer, collaborative experience that goes beyond multi-party video and instant messaging. Users who don't install the plugin can still take advantage of the native HTML5 compliant version of the Link Web App. The plugin is quick and easy to install. Link Web App delivers the full Link meeting experience to PC and Mac users, including the same instant messaging, voice, video and desktop application and PowerPoint sharing features offered in the Link desktop client. Link Web App is a great option for attendees who don't have the full Link client installed on their desktop. As you've just seen, the new Link delivers a single unified client for real-time communications that's integrated with the office applications people use every day. Thanks for